I was a scientist that was working on advanced data storage, something which is certainly very relevant, but extremely far away from art. And just by coincidence, one night while I was doing an experiment, I learned from a student that actually all the knowledge and technology we have at Argon can help to solve a big mystery that was out there just waiting to be solved. Picasso was certainly one of the most influential artists and painters. And I learned that the Art Institute in Chicago was trying to answer what kind of paints he was using. Now this is a very important question. We certainly have to understand what kind of materials were used if you want to protect and preserve art. And people were trying to study this with all kinds of instrumentations and technologies. But we here at Argonne National Laboratory, particularly at the Advanced Photon Source, have a very unique tool that allowed us to look into Picasso paint at a length scale that can be more than 50,000 times smaller than a single red blood cell. Science has been applied to art for quite some time and in a lot of facilities around the world. But X-rays can do something really amazing because if X-rays interact with material, they can actually tell us a story about the chemistry of a material. And what we found out was a big surprise for art historians and we were able to determine and answer a question that otherwise wasn't able to be answered. <laughs>